Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad for the Sad Truth. On Saturday, I'll be speaking at the Civitas conference uh, right here in Montreal. Uh, one of the slides in my talk, I'll be looking at the extent to which academic papers are cited. Now, some of you may have heard all sorts of different metrics. I decided to actually track down some references that might establish the veracity of some of these numbers that we've heard floating around. So here I've got a paper from uh, Vincent Larivière, Yves Gingras, and Eric Archambault uh, in the Journal of the Association for Information Science and Technology. It is titled The Decline in the Concentration of Citations 1900 to 2007, where they look at the number or the percentage of published papers in the social sciences, natural sciences and engineering and medicine and the humanities that have been cited at least once within a five uh, year period. Uh, and the idea of course is to see the extent to which academic papers are cited. And that's important because you'd like to think that people read academic works and then use these in developing their own work. So when we look at academic researchers, we're not only looking at how many papers they've published or how many books they've published, but how much have other researchers uh, used and cited uh, the, the, the works of their colleagues. Uh, and the reason why I do this analysis is because at one point I'm talking about what I call the velocity of knowledge. So how quickly does information flow across different domains of knowledge? So whether it be in the sphere of academia, how quickly does information spread? And here by spread, I mean how how much how quickly is it cited uh, versus, say, if you look at some of the metrics in my public engagement, if I uh, you know start a YouTube channel or if I appear on other people's shows, uh, how much uh, are those ideas being consumed by the public at large? Now, of course, I realize that these are completely different endeavors. It is expected that an academic, a technical academic paper is not going to be read and cited and spread as much as you know my appearing on Joe Rogan. But it, again, it's to contextualize the importance of using all available modes of communication in the battle of ideas. And so I thought I would just share with you here a one incredible finding from the paper in question. So when it comes to the humanities, guess what percentage of published papers do not get cited even once within a five-year window. So, so you understand what that means? So if there were 100 papers published, how many of those 100 papers within a five-year citation window don't even get cited once? Now, you'd like to think that they all are, because I mean, to, to say that something is cited once is not really a very onerous standard to, to aspire to achieve. Any ideas? Should I give you another second to think about it? You ready? 80%, roughly 80% of all papers published in the humanities are not cited once within a five-year citation window. That is extraordinary. So again, no one is suggesting that academics should not be engaging in peer-reviewed research. This is how we, we push human knowledge forward. It needs to be uh, very tightly vetted. And then by the sheer nature of the, you know, the technical content inherent to academic papers, of course, it's not going to be as popular as going to a Lady Gaga concert. But when you have a human endeavor whereby pretty much the large majority of the works, now think about all the taxpayer money that goes into this. And again, I don't mean to imply that we should uh, bring down all research to these sort of practical metrics, but... It certainly needs to be considered, right? People are paying a lot of money so that other people can sit in an ivory tower and philosophize, so to speak. So when 80% of the papers in the humanities are not even cited once, maybe that tells you something. And again, I don't mean to imply that the humanities are not worthwhile. The humanities uh, are certainly a very valuable area uh, that should belong within the pantheon of uh, you know, academic pursuits. But something must be wrong if nobody reads, nobody cites, nobody cares this about these works. So 
if you are in Montreal and if you're uh, interested in uh, this general topic, you might want to come and check me out. I'll be there. And if you are in the audience, come by and say hello. It'll be a pleasure to see you there. Hope you're having a good week. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.